Hey guys, welcome to our third episode of Quarantine. Um, I am on week four of lockdown. I think, Crystal, are you guys on week two? Week three? Oh, we're at least, we, I lost count, but I know it's in the ballpark of 30 days. So we're about, we're closing in on that four week or right around that time. Man, so <laughs> here we go. This is our new normal. Um, so I, what, what do you want to, um, talk about this week or like, what do we want to, I know we want to keep it lighthearted. So what have you been like up to, um, in your, you know what? not working. We're going to talk about fucking Tiger King. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> so the, Here's the thing. I, I know of Tiger King. It's obviously like this sweeping sensation that's going around the internet um, world. I have not personally watched it. Perfect. Well, I tried to. So my wife and I were going to watch it. I couldn't make it through the first like five, 10 minutes. I just can't handle the animal abuse. That was the worst part. I turned it off there and it took me well over a week to pick it back up. And I have to, it's so bad. I have to, stop watching it regularly like I I, it is an atrocious shit show but it is like I know I've heard that they don't show a ton but it's implied and just like knowing what went on behind the scenes I just like I can't um but I do know that it's like this hilarious pop culture phenomenon that's happening right now that I'm very much like not a part of and it's also like because he's gay right so like it's going around the queer community as well oh yeah, he has a Prince Albert, but likes his hole so big, he literally has master lock padlocks that are on the wall of his shitty single wide trailer bedroom. I grew up in a single wide trailer. I'm not dissing on poor people, but it's just like how fucking Walmart, Oklahoma can you get? <laughs> and he's got these padlocks on the wall of his bedroom that he sticks in the hole at the end of his dick. Bruh, dude. Uh, every that, time that's in the show it's in the show like i mean if, if you could just imagine walking in to the worst inbred alabama walmart like alabama mississippi line walmart you've ever been to this takes the cake like none of these motherfuckers have a family tree that forks it's all a fucking date palm looking family tree that I have never seen a hot dumpster fire of inbred trash more than this shit here. I mean, look at that. It's like, it's like, I mean, it's like a, it's like Joe Dirt, but real fucking life. I it's, mean, it's this guy, right? That is Joe. Okay. His name was Joe. Schrobelberg, and then it was Passage, and uh, dude, I don't even know this motherfucker in guy's names. He's got a hundred names. He legally changed it to Joe Exotic because he's the weird. This guy looks. He looks like if like Billy Ray Cyrus and like Siegfried and Roy had a baby. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. This is their like love child. Yes, che- toast, ching, <laughs> cheers to that comment. I was, yeah, like, I was thinking, like, if Joe Dirt and a venereal disease had a love <laughs> child be this, yeah, like, the first time I saw this guy, I thought, well, this is very apropos, because if COVID-19 were a human being, as fucked up as it is, it would be this, right. and ironically, like, that's, I, I just... Dude. So, we've got this guy, and he has, like, his tiger sanctuary, and then... It's not a sanctuary. It is, it is an, an animal exploiting shit show of a way to try to make a dollar. Like the more you watch it, the more you will hate. Ironically, the best and most moral person in this whole goddamn series is the fucking Cuban guy who lives in Miami, who spent half of his life in a federal prison for like murder and chopping up a federal investigator and for like being a drug runner. And he is by far the best quality person in this whole series that actually takes care of his animals. Huh. I mean, well, then, so, cause the, 
so this is Carol, right? So like, what's the deal? So Carol, Carol fucking Baskin. Carol is not the murder for hire plot, right? People just think she killed her husband. No, 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 no. Joe. Spoiler alerts, by the way. Joe supposedly, allegedly hired this guy with like two teeth. By the way, what's interesting is I think everybody involved in this documentary were behind the design of the toothbrush or else it would be called the teeth brush because I have plural. Um, <laughs> he, he allegedly hired a guy to kill Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin, like that bitch legit killed her husband. Holy you got, cow. You got problems. I feel bad for you, son. Got 99 tigers fed my husband to one. <laughs> like she, that motherfucker is underneath the septic tank or something like she is dude she is uh you could just watch you my f when people shows like this where people are talking about their real life experience they don't realize people give away their tells very very easily mm. right this is why i like to play poker online with a virtual reality headset because they can't see my facial expressions. It's harder for me to gauge their tells, but they can't gauge mine. And I have, I know what my tell is and I, I'm conscious of it and I still have a hard time controlling it. So you watch this thing and you figure out what people's tells are and it just becomes this giant lying shit show. And that woman, I mean, that woman killed her husband. There's no way you could have dude like that woman had no feeling whatsoever mm. she couldn't she couldn't look people in the eye when she answered questions she was she had no problem looking you in the eye if she was telling the truth but it was obvious when she was evasive and she was so evasive about this guy and she thought it was funny that you couldn't fit a body through a meat grinder and when an animal attacked joe She's like, oh, you'd have to put sardine oil on them. That's the only way to get them to want to eat or attack a human. It's like the thing she says is like, this bitch is a whole fucked up box of alphabet. She's more fucked up than a goddamn soup sandwich. I mean, <laughs> she is, this whole show is an alphabet soup of just fucked up fuck. God, I mean, it's certainly like, become quite the sensation. My jumping on the God. tiger king bandwagon. Apparently, it's, there's another episode coming out. I think they're gonna do like a special or something. A something of what happens after, because people are googling it, rightfully so. What happens to the animals? And there is, dude. Oh, oh my God! Like I'm telling you, it is. It, it's it's insane. But yeah, Carol is a character she's the one locally by the way she's right here in tampa is she she's the big cat rescue lady i didn't realize this was all in florida Cor of course it's in florida uh, wait time out time out florida. joe and his people are from oklahoma you ever been to oklahoma but is it set is the show set in florida no carol is the only thing in florida okay but like carol Okay. Hanny, Wait, so I'm, they don't ever physically meet. Joe, Joe and, and Carol? Carol? Correct. But Joe has gone to her. Oh, in my brain, they were like next door neighbors. They no. were like rival petting zoos across the street from each other. Well, having a neighbor beef. But I mean, they're, like that, I guess. They're, they're rivals, but in but very. But in the same state. No. And then you have. I'm sure you'll pull up more people later, right? Like we just kind of impromptu decided this is how we're going to do it. But some of them didn't meet each other. Carol and Joe right. haven't met each other. But Carol, like this guy that married her that had all this money, the guy she killed, which by the way, I won't mention his name because he doesn't make it really public. But I am good friends with somebody who worked very closely with Don Lewis, the dead husband for many years, both in and outside of the whole animal stuff. Is it and a fact that he, that Don is dead or it's just, he's just missing? We it? don't know where he's at. I mean, this guy was. 
There's no and body. There's no body. And after five years of not finding a body, you can declare as the spouse or mm -hmm. like a parent, the, the next closest kin can request that you declare that person deceased and put a death certificate the day after five years. Carol, Carol Baskin did it. But like they, it's, it's like, imagine two really immature children that lived in the same house, hating each other, doing these really petty things back. That's what it felt like to me. It felt like I was watching a shit show. I know a lot of marriages like that. <laughs> Dude, but it wasn't even like, I mean, it was, there is so the the hilarity of this pile of steaming tiger shit that this documentary is is fucking insane like there are so many people that deserve to be in prison and i don't actually even think joe hired the dude to kill her i think that is completely oh there's so much more honey just keep looking up people he Trust claims me. he's interested he's he claims he's innocent watching the documentary, hearing the other people talk who have evidence, he's fucking innocent. The guy changed his story three times on camera, huh. different parts, different parts of the interview. Like it's, it is, here's the thing. If you're, there's a lot of shady people. Okay. Even Carol, Carol was walking down Nebraska Avenue by, I mean, I used to live down in Tampa. I know where, people hang out and sell their bodies and buy drugs. Carol was wandering the streets as a 19 year old woman when this guy picked her up off the streets, took her back to his hotel and married the crazy woman. Like nobody in this documentary has, they're all, it, it's, there's nothing wrong with being a felon, right? There's nothing, people break the law, shit happens, no big deal. But when you have this many people who are professional con artists, who have big ass egos, who have just enough money to be dangerous, but they still need a lot more money to be manipulative, but they're not smart enough to keep themselves out of trouble. What the fuck do you think is gonna happen? This is like a backstabbing shit show. You couldn't write drama like this in a fucking, like, you, you couldn't even make this shit up, it's so bad. That's nuts. Dude, it's fucking hilarious. And then this, this, this Joe exotic guy sings and he's got this, this ridiculous song called I saw tiger and I'll put it on YouTube and play it really loud. And it's like, I saw tiger. Megan's like, what are you listening to? And I was like, something I'm gonna fuck you up tonight too. She's like, Oh my God, you're so stupid. That's not even sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I it's not. <laughs> she, she falls asleep and I'm like, tell all the hunters. <laughs> Put down your guns. She's like, are you singing country? I was like, I'm singing Joe Dirt, baby. Like, <laughs> now, now, did Megan watch it with you? She watched it before me, and she was like, don't watch it. Because she knows I don't, I don't do animal stuff well. And the way it opened was just awful. You haven't even gotten at the best characters yet. Oh, trust I me, I didn't Annie. get to any characters. It was three minutes in, and I was like, to Eva... I no, I like, meant turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it like, off. Like we've got a lot of content already, and you got two motherfucking characters. Just wait, the best ones you ain't even got to yet, Hanny. Oh my lord. I um, yeah, I I can't do the animal abuse stuff. Like I didn't like I the I stopped watching Walking Dead when they killed the tiger. I stopped watching Game of Thrones when they killed the dragon. Like I just can't. You could kill nine thousand people. I don't care. Apparently, I'm fine. So I would like, be fine with that. Even so much as like make a dog sad. <laughs> Dude, I'm out. I'm if out. If you bring me, if you, if you bring me, bring me on a platter, a follow up to this documentary where every one of these psychotic, crazy, murderous, backstabbing, animal abusing and exploiting pieces of shit were like, bing, 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 shot in the head and put in the ground. I'd be like, okay, yeah, I can watch. Yeah. But just be good to the animals. That's my thing. All but, right, pick, so pick another character. Pick another character and tell me what you think. I don't know any other character. I don't know how to pick another you, character. So I, have, I, oh, I only know of like the okay. major ones, obviously. Look up, uh, if you Google like Tiger King characters, does it give you any? 
Oh yeah, that that one guy right there. He had uh th three husbands. He's had three three husbands. Joe Exotic has. Yeah, that's John Finlay, who was always heterosexual. Who now, actually, he's got a full set of teeth now, false teeth, and he looks good. You're not uh, always heterosexual if you have a husband. Uh, he claims that he always was. What? I'm just, <laughs> I, I'm telling you what he said. Travis Maldonado, you see that that feller right there, Travis Maldonado. This one. Yep, he was always high, and he looks he high. A dude, he was being an idiot and thought that a Ruger, which is a revolver, by the way, needed a clip in it to fire, and was fucking around and shot and killed himself in the head just off camera. Oh my god! Yeah. While they were filming, there was they the documentary crew wasn't there. There was a camera that was like in the office that films, in the studio recording studio an office and a gator sanctuary, which somebody burned down. They don't know who to charge with arson. Like everything is that you can imagine is a shit show. And then at his funeral, Joe stood up there in front of this kid was 20 something. Okay. Joe was like 40 something. This kid shot himself in the head and at his funeral, he's standing up there looking at this boy's mom in the eye. And he's like, we're not going to make this sad, but, I would be looking on the computer and Travis would come up and rub them balls in my face. And anybody who knew that boy knew them balls was like gold nuggets. <laughs> to and his then, mother. At his and funeral. then he sang a song from his new album. Is like he a musician? He had his own line of underwear. Huh. Like... I'm I mean, anyone can do that these days. Just get a Shopify store and set it up. Okay, I don't have my own animal print underwear. Thank I you very either. much. I do not either. I, my ego is not that damn big. <laughs> um, was it selling? Apparently in the gift shop. And uh, he had, like... You're going to have to put a spoiler no warning on this when you post it you're the only person on the planet who hasn't seen it but that's fine look up <laughs> jeff jeff Lowe, tiger king i don't remember his name tiger king jeff Lowe. yeah tell me tell, this tell guy? me which yeah mm -hmm. give me a better picture this guy this guy this these people actually look somewhat normal Okay. Of the bunch. Honey, they're some of the worst ones. That, uh, that, this Jeff Lowe guy is the kind of guy that spends all summer hanging out at the Buckle store in the malls. I'm sorry, if you're a man and you're shopping at Buckle, sorry if you're watching this, you're a douchebag. I don't Only, really know what that is. And there's a reason for that, okay? <laughs> like, what's the store called? Buckle. And Buckle. it's like everything this guy's wearing, affliction and like all these stupid white boy do rags. And he's just a fucking comic book character. I promise you this guy during the summer hangs out at Buckle stores and helps teenage girls try clothes on. Like not as an associate. That, that guy is fucking super creeper. He's behind payments on that. This guy is 100% a con artist and he's the guy who I think fabricated the evidence to put Joe away to take his zoo. And this guy has an obsession with exotic cats because, and I quote, pussy brings in pussy. Huh. Yeah, he makes his wife swing and he had to pick out the nanny. It had to be a hot young nanny. And he made, he made suggestions that they were going to sleep with the nanny together. I mean, like, this is, like, not even funny at this point. It's just gross and sad. It's not funny. Um, scroll up. Uh, Doc Antle. See that Tiger King's Doc Antle? No, no. Below that. Just, or maybe at the top, type in Doc Antle. Yeah, and, there he is. Yeah, okay. This guy. Oh, my God. This guy is a sexual predator. You have to be a teenage gross. girl. Teenage girls come and intern, like, at his zoo. He fucks them. They're forced to get tit jobs. It's like a cult. This guy owns 
hundreds and hundreds of acres in North Carolina and has his own cult. And he has these women that live with him, that have sex with him, that have his children. They have their own houses because they're not allowed to live with him. It's disgusting. They work 12 hour days and he pays them a hundred dollars a week, but he provides them food and ha like he is, he, he gave himself a first name, but a, got a, it's like an, it's a stupid name, like Engelbert Humperdinck, who the fuck comes up with the name like that, but it means God. He thinks he's a God hmm. and he, he claims to be a doctor, but when, when they asked, what is, what are you a doctor of? It's the mystic arts. Claire. I mean, to be in Engelbert Humperdinck's defense, that's a real name. <laughs> he, but that guy changed his name legally to Engelbert Humperdinck. He wasn't born Engelbert Humperdinck. Was he not? No, that's his performance name. Most people it, who are famous change their name because, like, I mean, most people can't make Will Smith work. It's boring. Even Katy Perry's name, she wasn't born Katy Perry. Huh. Like, it's, it's a common thing. So this guy picked uh, Engelbert Humperdinck because that sounds sexy. Why not? Yeah. So this guy oh. is like, and he supposedly, they raided his, his zoo in December because supposedly when the cubs are too old to be exploited, he euthanizes them in a gas chamber. That's and like awful. cremates them up. Like, like there are just so many well, things wrong with this. Welcome to the lighthearted episode this week, you guys. <laughs> but, it, but as fucked up as it is, look at what these people look like and look at what they were willing to make themselves look like in a documentary. Yeah. How desperate do you have to be? How, how much of an ego can you fucking have? Yeah. And then there's, there's one fat guy. I don't know his name. He literally looks like if Chucky the doll grew up to be an overweight adult, dude looks just like that and he is a little bitch who turned criminal informant who like fucked everybody over and the guy who was taking the hit out on carol he's like oh my god and there's just so many cartoon characters i don't even know how it's real yeah it's so it's such a dumpster fire i I, I mean, I, I can't even, they, they opened up a pizza shop and were using expired meat from Walmart. Ew. Like, like it is so fucking redneck. It is so deep woods. Somebody fucked their sister redneck. Every, it is just... <laughs> I mean, it is so... Good show to watch while on lockdown. It's actually awful. It's like a dump... It's like... It's like that really hideous-looking, super fat, hairy woman at the beach who's wearing a bikini 400 times too small, and you see her walking with the child, and then it dawns on you, somebody fucked her. But oh, it's that's just misogynistic at that point. That's not cool. No, but it, it's okay. She's fine. <laughs> She's, you know it's true that there has been at least one time in your life you've seen somebody so... It's not that she's overweight, right? It's like, why would you wear clothes that small? Why would you go out looking like this? Like, that's, that's not the... Do you, know, do you get what I'm saying? Like, some people I get just, what you're saying. I just... Yeah, I do. I think we should could use a better analogy than like a woman's body. Okay, whatever analogy you you want to use here. Sometimes human beings look like a dumpster fire, but you cannot stop staring. Yes. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. I, I, Joe yeah. Exotics is one of those, <laughs> for sure. Dude, it is not just him. You saw that Jeff guy, right? Yeah. Tell me that guy is not in the mall hitting on teenagers. Yeah. I mean, and you didn't even see the Chucky looking guy yet. No. But I mean, who gives themselves a name that means Jesus? Really? Yeah. It's fucked like, up. Like, uh, dude, it, I don't even, and Carol's new husband, like there's all these weird pictures of her having him on a leash, walking him like a cat. I saw those. I saw those. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even... And I try to pay attention to the details, 
the detective in Tampa who was assigned the case because they, they film people in their own homes. He has the weirdest home. What fucking detective has a home with a, with a, a statue of a monkey holding a tray like a waiter? And he had the weirdest decor in his home. And I'm like, there is not one single fucking normal person. I'm not normal, so I'm allowed to say this. There is not any person in their right mind in this whole fucking thing. They couldn't find one. Actually, they did. Fucking Mario, whatever, who was a goddamn Cuban drug lord. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Like... fuck yeah i mean i can't like match your level of shock and awe because i haven't seen it but um i mean i think it's not they obviously found like a huge cast of characters who are just like completely ridiculous people who are collecting wildlife illegally so i mean i guess it's the good a good recipe it's not illegal it is legal in the united states to have an exotic cat there are roughly even you're supposed to get an exotic animal license and register it and blah, blah, blah. That's not happening in all these cases. Right. So the United States, we think there's roughly 10,000 tigers, just fucking tigers that are owned privately, whether it's zoos or sanctuary or as a pet, there's not even 4,000 in the wild. That's why they're an endangered species. Yeah. It's really and the only reason that, I mean, literally, you can buy a baby, you could, you could, if he hasn't been shut down, Doc Antle would probably sell you a baby tiger for two to $5,000. Yeah. And it's just, the exploitation yeah. of these animals is just, it's, if you have the money, it's not a problem. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. Um, it's super sad. Well, there you heard it here first. That's the lowdown on Tiger King and um, the craziness that is Joe Exotic. And, and it's crazy to think that he is a member of our queer community, but he is. <laughs> so we'll take him. Did uh, you see that? I've, I've seen several articles. I can't tell you. I don't know the name of the publication, so I don't know how reputable they are for providing accurate news so i would suggest that anybody who wants to look into this really does their research but supposedly trump claimed he would take a look at pardoning joe because there was really it was all trumped up no pun intended okay pun, <laughs> in, pun intended it was trumped up evidence huh do you think you're gonna watch it now no <laughs> I it. Yeah, I never planned to watch it. I kind of. I mean, I mean, you are not the first person to campaign to try to get me to watch this. I've had my siblings texting me it's, for weeks. It's really kind of awful. I mean, it really is. It's just, it's sad. It's sad that this is what people consider entertainment. I mean, people don't want to watch something that. Well, and that's the thing is, like, any, any, like, if I was on the fence at all, like, this conversation has, has really made me, like, because I really, like, even as you were saying it, I thought it was going to be, like, funny as we describe these characters, but even as you were saying it, I was like, this is actually just really sad. It is. These people um, are all, there's so many desperate people, and even Carol, who's loaded rich, She's desperate to put everybody out of business because she wants to own a monopoly on something that nobody should own. It's just, there's so, it got just deeper and deeper down this gross immoral rabbit hole. But at the same time, you're totally allowed to laugh at it because these characters are a shit show. I mean, you cannot make people up yeah. that are this ridiculous ridiculous and entertain i mean it is better than your best day walking around a walmart i mean literally the walmart where closest to where i live a guy got arrested for a dui on a power cart <laughs> that's funny i mean i you everybody knows what people of walmart is like and that doesn't hold a flame to this 
dude, dude, when they had their three-way re- wedding, I was like, this is, this is so dope. But at the same time, this is so fucked up. <laughs> like, I, it's just, dude, like, yeah, I don't even know. I mean, if you love animals, don't watch it. Uh, if you are questioning your self-worth, if you're questioning whether or not you're attractive, if you're questioning whether or not you're a good human being, definitely watch it. It will make you feel so much better about yourself. <laughs> well, you guys heard it here first. That's the, that's the lowdown on Tiger King. Um, if you do watch it and you have watched it, uh, drop something in the comments and let us know what your favorite part was. I will continue to not watch it, but I will enjoy reading your comments either way. Um, <laughs> and that's it from us here on Quarantine. We'll be right back at you next week with talking about, I don't know what, it's a, it's a brand new adventure every day at, as we stay at home. Um, yeah. So yeah, stay home and, and watch Tiger King. <laughs> That's all right, all you cool cats and kittens. This is Carol Baskin checking in from the big cat sanctuary. That's, <laughs> that's what she does. That's what she does with her little hippie. Awesome. She has like a little flower. She just, I'm t- you can't make this shit up. I'm telling you, dude, fucking Florida, Oklahoma, where the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.